What's going on folks and welcome to my first combat guide for the upcoming Broken Ranks MMO. Today we're going to be taking a basic overview about how the combat system works and what you can expect. The first thing to know about Broken Ranks is that while traveling around the map, you'll be viewing the game from an isometric point of view. However, as soon as you get into combat, it'll switch to a turn-based mode in which you can allocate action points to offensive and defensive abilities, or your character's melee, ranged, and mental defenses. Everyone gets a total of 12 action points to allocate, and you can view this directly under the round timer bar. This bar indicates the 10 second preparation phase that every round starts with. During this time, you are free to choose which attacks and defenses your character will use for the round and any buffs or debuffs you plan to use. When you are first starting off in Broken Ranks, it may be recommended to set 2 points for your melee defense and 2 points for your ranged defense by default. This leaves you with 8 other action points to allocate to your attack abilities, and if you only put 2 points per attack, that gives you 4 different attacks to use during the round. I know in the last video I had said 2 melee, 2 ranged, and 2 mental defense might be a good starting point, but 2 melee and 2 ranged defense should realistically do just fine. Now that being said, there will be many situations not even including PvP where you would want to allocate more points for defense on one side or the other. If you're fighting a mob that looks like it'll primarily be melee based, like an orc with the battle axe or a wolf, you might put those 4 or 5 points exclusively into melee instead of worrying about ranged, and vice versa if you happen to be fighting an archer or someone using a sling weapon. You can do the same for if you are fighting a mage and want some mental defense, but one thing to keep in mind is that most magic attack spells are actually considered magical ranged attacks and will fall under the ranged defense, meaning that if you get hit with the fireball, that would hit against your ranged defense. But if you get hit with the poison spell or pierced doll or war cry for example, that would hit against your mental defense. Expanding on that further, there are multiple types of attacks that will be found in broken ranks physical melee attacks which require close contact with your target, magical physical attacks which are all attacks done by the magic class while being in close combat such as arson or bashing, physical ranged attacks that require conventional weapons like bows, stones, boulders, etc., magical ranged attacks like fireballs, shadow strikes, and magical sparks. These are also related to ranged AoE attacks and so are the physical ranged ones. Negative spells, which are basically debuffs, skills like war cry, infection, poison, stuff along those lines. And lastly, positive spells, also known as buffs. To get a deeper look on the system, this is the order in which all actions and attacks are executed through the round. Take notice of the weapon changing being the very first thing and fleeing battle being the last, which means if you try to flee, everyone will execute their attacks before you even get the opportunity to try meaning you can die before having the chance to run if you aren't careful. Another important thing to bring up is that the amount of action points allocated to each skill does not determine how much damage that ability does. All the action points effect in that regard is boosting your chance to hit with that ability or skill by 20% per point. And on the defense side, the action points would bolster that type of defense by 20% per point. Past that point like you saw in the order of actions picture, buffs and debuffs will be the first thing executed during the round followed by ranged attacks, and finally, melee attacks. As I said before, each turn will have a preparation phase of 10 seconds to choose and allocate your offense and defensive options. But one thing that will help you a ton, and something I highly recommend setting up after you get done with the tutorial, is combat strategies. This will be available in your skill menu and lets you set predefined battle layouts that can be accessed from the click of a button during battle. So if you want to set up a default rotation that has 4 attacks and 2 points in melee, 2 points in ranged, you can do that. In Pride of Tyran, you could press Control and the 1-4 through four buttons to use those during battle, and I would assume that we'll be able to do the same in Broken Ranks. In Tyran, we only got access to 2 battle strategies right off the bat, and premium accounts that have the membership would get access to 4 in total. Not 100% sure if that'll be the same in Broken Ranks, but we'll find out soon enough. Another thing that has its own system during combat is the targeting system. Choosing your target is crucial. It determines who you will execute your offensive abilities and attacks on first. Alongside that, you are able to target one friendly at a time. So by default, your friendly target will be yourself. However, you can switch to another person or pet by clicking on them. This will put a green circle around their feet. Another quick tip is that even if you put mental attacks like poison at the end of your rotation, they're still going to be executed first when the round starts. Also, when you kill an enemy in combat, if you have any remaining actions like extra attacks, they will be used after the enemy does theirs. So if you're fighting 3 goblins and have 4 attacks, you kill 1 goblin in the first attack, your primary target, the remaining 3 attacks will go after the remaining goblins have finished their actions. 
For the most part, that's everything you need to know so far about the basics of the Broken Ranks combat system, but in the future as I get more experience with it, I'd like to talk about the various formulas that surround the combat and skill system to give you an even deeper understanding of how chance to hit and the damage itself works, and how crazy and tactical the combat system can really get, especially in PvP. Until then, thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful night or day, and farewell.